in our previous video we have seen how to insert the categories inside the categories table and also we have seen how to insert the brands inside the brands table okay now in this we are going to see whatever data is present inside the categories table how to display that inside the home page okay now inside categories table here i am having some data fruits juices vegetables and milk products and also i have inserted two more categories that is books and chips you can see totally i am having six categories here now again inside this insert categories let me just come to insert categories again if i just try to insert books insert categories i will be getting this message okay this entire thing we have seen we have written the code for this entire thing okay this category is present inside the database and again book will not be added here okay only one time the book will be added now next what we are going to see is okay whatever data is present we are going to display here okay this is the demo project in place of this we are going to display all the data here so before that let me just write one h2 heading here okay for insert category and insert brand first let me just come to insert categories now before this form i'll be writing h2 and for this i'll just give the class as text center inside this i'll be writing here insert category insert categories okay let me just write that one i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now here i'm having insert categories okay for this section i'm just going to reduce some margin i'll just come to index.php inside admin folder here i'll be writing 3 i'll save this now if i refresh this one okay i think it's completely fine now in the same way i'm just going to copy this h2 and inside insert brands i'm just going to paste that one and here i'll be writing insert brands i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now when i click on insert brands you can see here i'm having this insert brands now whenever i insert some brand i'll just click on insert you can see brand will also be inserted and inside the database also that brand will be displayed let me just come to brand table now inside this you can see swiggy and zomato will be displayed okay swiggy we have inserted in our previous video now we have just inserted zomato now here inside this home page in place of this categories and this brands that data whatever i am having inside the database that should be displayed okay let me just come to admin i will be inserting some more brands mcdonalds then here i am having this one then i'll insert nike and finally i'll be inserting amazon now inside database all these brands will be displayed okay totally six brands i am having and inside categories table let me just check for that and here totally six categories i am having now whatever data is present here i just want to display that data in place of this okay inside my home page i have to display that data so i'll i'll just open my index.php file okay this file is the root file where we have created the static template of our website okay not admin file this is present inside root file now here for brands we are having this first li this we need to display this particular heading now below this i'll be writing this php syntax now inside this i'm just going to write the query i'll be writing here i'll just write here select brands let me just remove the space from here now inside this i'm just going to write this query i'll be writing here select star from brands okay this is my table name brands i am just selecting all the data from the brands table now once i write this query i have to execute this one so here i'm just going to write result result brands okay whatever variable you want you can write to execute this one we have to use my sqli query method i'll be writing that one my sqli query and this is going to take two parameters first is our connection variable and second is the query variable okay whatever query we have written and which variable we have stored that variable we have to pass as second parameter now first i'm just going to write connection variable and second is my query variable that is select brands now here to use this connection variable first we have to include that particular file wherever we have written this connection variable now this connection variable is present inside connect.php file and here you can see here i'm having this connection variable now to use this variable first i have to include that file i'll just come on top and here i'll be including that file i'll be writing this php 
I'll close PHP. Before that, let me just write the comment here. I'll write here connect file. And here I'm just going to write include. And inside this, first I'm just going to write here includes folder. And we have to wrap inside single quotes or double quotes. Includes folder. I'll be writing connect.php. I'll just change the spelling. Includes. Okay, now why I'm not writing here dot slash and double dot slash. Okay, dot slash will work. But double dot slash will not work because index.php file and includes folder are present in the same level. Okay, inside the same root itself it is present. So I don't have to write dot slash and double dot slash. I can directly write the folder name and here I am writing the file name. Okay, now if we once we include this file, only then we will be able to use this connection variable. Let me just come here. Now here I have used this connection variable. Now I have to fetch the data from the database. Now here I am just going to write here row data and we can fetch the data whatever is present inside the database using my SQLI fetch asoc method. I will be writing that one my SQLI fetch asoc and inside this we have to pass this variable okay this result variable we have to pass. I will just copy this one and here I am just going to paste. Now to fetch the data let me just write that one I will just echo that I will be writing echo. To fetch the data, whatever variable we have created here, I'm just going to write that one here. Then inside this, the column name, whatever column name we have given for this one. Okay, let me just come to branch. Whatever column name we have given here, branch title, I'm just going to paste that one here. Okay, let me just write that one. Okay, the exact column name we have to write. I'll save this. I'll just come to home page. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see Swiggy is being displayed here. Okay, only the first record is being displayed from the database. Again, if I just try to echo this one, I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see again, I'm getting this Swiggy. Only the first record is being fetched from the database. Now, in place of this first record, I want all the data. Okay, whatever is present here, I want this entire data should be displayed. So, for that, instead of writing like this, I'll just comment this one. Instead of writing this one, we are just going to wrap this inside while loop. Okay, while loop what it is going to do is unless and until the data is present it is going to run each time i'll just copy this entire thing and this i'm just going to comment out and here i'll be pasting that one inside this while loop i'm just going to fetch the brand title so for that first i'm just going to create the variable brand title and inside this i'm just going to store that one i'll just write the proper spelling i'll just copy this and here I'm just going to store that one. Whatever data I'm having inside the database, I'm just going to fetch one by one. I'm storing inside this variable. In the same way, I'm just going to fetch brand ID as well. I'll just write the proper spelling brand ID. And here in the same way, I'll just write here row data. And my column name is brand ID. Okay, whatever is present inside database table, I have to write that one. Now, if I just write here echo, and now let me just write this one. I'll just copy this and here I'm going to paste. I'll save this. Let me just close. I'll save this. I'll just come here. Now if I refresh this one, you can see all the data, whatever is present inside the database that is been displayed. First I'm having Swiggy, Zomato, McDonald's, Alabadi, Nike and Amazon. All the data has been displayed. But instead of displaying like this, I just want to display in place of brand 1, brand 2, I have to display. Let me just remove this. Now this brand title is having entire data. I'm just going to write echo. I'll just write here double quotes. I'll just copy this list item and here I'm going to paste. Now from here I'm just going to remove this double quotes. I'll be writing single quotes here. Okay now everything is working fine. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see again I'm having this brand one, brand one, brand one. Because here I have passed the static data brand one. So this is going to run six times because I am having six data inside the database. Now from here, I'm just going to remove this entire thing. I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see only brand one, brand one I'm having because here I have passed the static data. Now this brand title is having the entire data. I'll just copy this one and here I'm going to paste. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see all the brands, whatever I'm having inside the database that is being displayed here. I'll just come to admin panel. I'll just write here Flipkart. 
I'll just click on insert brands. Brand has been inserted. Okay. Now inside the database, that brand will be added. Okay, let me just refresh. You can see Flipkart has been added. Now inside home page also, if I just refresh this, you can see Flipkart has been added. Okay, this is how it will work. Whatever data we are having inside the database, okay, dynamically we can fetch this data. Now let me just come to demo project. Now whenever I click on this McDonald's, you can see inside this, I'm having index.php and here I'm having this get variable brand and related to that Zomato, the category is been displayed here. So for that, we have already freshed this brand ID. Now here inside this anchor tag, inside href, I'll be writing here index.php. I'll write question mark and here I'm just going to write brand is equal to this brand ID. I'll copy this one and here I'm just going to paste. Okay, before saving, let me just come here. Now here, whenever I hover on this, you can see below this, I'm not having any ID, any brand I'm not having. Just hover on this, no brand is been displayed. Now if I click on Zomato, you can see I'm having index.php and hash. Let me just save this file. Now I'll just refresh this one. Now whenever I click on Swiggy, you can see below I'm getting index.php question mark brand ID is equal to 1. Uh, again Zomato, I'm getting brand is equal to 2. McDonald's brand is equal to 3. Whatever ID is present inside the database, this particular ID will be displayed. For Flipkart, I'm having 7. Now if I just hover on Flipkart, you can see brand is equal to 7. Now when I click on Flipkart, you can see inside URL I'm having brand is equal to 7. Now using this particular get variables, we are going to display that data. Okay, this is how we are going to display the brands. Next, we are going to see how to display the categories. How we have done for brands, we are going to do the same thing for categories. Now here I'm just going to copy the same thing. Before that, let me just come to categories here. Here I'm having this categories. From here, I'll be removing all these list items. I'll just remove all these list items from here. Only first one I'm just going to keep. I'll save this. Now let me just come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see no categories is being displayed here. Now in place of that, we are just going to write the PHP code. I'll just copy this entire PHP script from here. Okay, the same thing I'm just going to copy. And below this, I'm just going to paste that one. Now, if I just refresh this, entire brands will be displayed here. You can see all the brands, whatever I'm having here, that has been displayed here. Now, I don't want brands. I want categories. So, I'll be changing the title to categories. Then here, everything will be same. I'll just remove this. I'll be writing categories. I'll copy this. And here, I'm going to paste. Then instead of result brands, I'll be writing here categories. I'll copy this and inside this, I'm just going to paste. Okay, I'm just doing the same thing here. Row data. Now instead of this brand title, I'm just going to write here category title. I'll copy this one and here I'm going to paste. Now this is the column name. Okay, whatever column name we are having inside the database. Let me just come to categories table. Inside this, you can see we are having this category title. Okay, that I am passing here. And here I'll be writing category ID. I'll copy this one. Let me just change the spelling. Category. Category ID. I'll copy this one. And here I'm going to paste. This category ID, I'm just going to display here. And this category title, I'm just going to display here. I'll save this. I'll just come here. Now, if I refresh this one, you can see I'm having all the categories. I'm having fruits, juices, vegetables. Okay, all the categories, whatever is present inside the database, you can see all the categories is been displayed. Now, whenever I hover on these categories, I'm having below this, I'm having brand. Okay, let me just change this one. Here, I'll be writing category. Category. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now, whenever I hover on chips, you can see category is equal to 6. For books, category is equal to 5. And inside the database also, for books, I'm having 5. Now, when I click on books, you can see inside URL, the get variable is changed to category is equal to 5. Now, when I click on brands, McDonald's, you can see for brands, I'm getting brand is equal to category name, brand is equal to ID. And for categories, I'm getting category is equal to ID. Okay, this is how we are going to display the data. Now, next we are going to work on admin panel. Admin will be able to insert the products. Now, once the products has been inserted, we will see how to display that products. And based on this particular names, how to display that data. 
now you can see in my demo when i click on mcdonald's for this i am not having any services if i click on amazon for this also i am not having if i click on nike here i am having two products related to this brand category related to this particular id how to display this one okay we will see that one by one